Good. The first one. So every time this diaphragm goes down, who can remember what kind of pressure we make? That creates the vacuum. Negative. Negative pressure. That negative pressure creates a what? The vacuum. A vacuum. And the vacuum is where the suction comes from. So you just imagine the diaphragm going down. It is attached to your spine. And imagine that it going down is just sucking in air. That's the easiest way to remember it. All right, that's the, the easiest explanation I can have for you. When this goes down, that creates negative pressure. So it's, it's like siphoning, siphoning the air. And that siphon is that negative pressure that creates the vacuum that sucks the air in. So cool, we got that. And then we said that oxygen is coming in, right? So that's what we care about. So there's a whole bunch of O2 coming in here. And then finally that O2 is gonna make it down to your alveoli where gas exchange happens. All right, and this is where both systems combine. And we'll talk about it right now. Just let me draw my little O2s in here so it makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so around each alveoli, there's little, there's little uh, vessels. So imagine this is the alveoli, and you have vessels that just go around the alveoli like this, okay? And around those vessels, there's, in, in those vessels, there's blood. Vessels have a name. What do you guys think they're called? Who, who knows what they're called? These little vessels that are around the alveoli, they have a name. They're the smallest vessels that we have in the body. Okay? They are called capillaries. So capillary, capillaries are vessels that wrap around the alveoli. Okay? So go ahead and take a note. Capillaries are vessels that wrap around the alveoli. Okay? 